So in this video, I wanted to go over with you on the idea of multiplication thinking and thinking in multiples and growth and scaling rather than just additions. Now, this is a topic that I covered to death. I basically talk about this in almost every video, this type of 10x, this big thinking. And you might be thinking, you know, you talk about this too much. Now, the problem is not that I'm talking about it too much. The problem is that you haven't multiplied yet. So when you have a business and you are a business, even if you're not, you don't actually have a business, you are a business, you basically most of the time think in 1x. So you're thinking, I have this goal and I want to get to this goal and I'm going to take these actions and this is how I'm going to get there. So this is my strategy. Once you actually find something good, once you actually find something that works for you, um, you again, you, you have the right strategy that leads to the right actions, and then you get to the goal. Most people's problem is that the goal is not satisfying enough in the first place to want to stick with it. Because a regular goal, getting from, let's say, 5000 a month to 6000 a month, would be the almost the exact same effort as getting to 60000 a month. Maybe this would be even less effort, by the way, because this requires people. This requires multiplication. You most likely won't be able to do this on your own. Now, most people, again, they think very, very small. They think basically in, in increments, and that's why their life doesn't ever change. That's why their life always looks exactly the same. The biggest mind shift that I had personally was in the, the thinking, the scaling, the thinking in multiples. And what I do, the trick that I use to make sure that I do that is I write down my goals. And when I write down my goals, I make them really, really big. So for example, I own a $5 billion company. I make over $100 million per month. I have 250,000 employees. You see, these are very, very big numbers and when you write goals this big I'm, i don't even care if it's possible or not which of course it is because people did do that but what i care about when i write these goals i care about having such big numbers so many zeros in my numbers that i realize that i can't do it on my own if it's just robbie this is not going to happen if i do it on my own this has to involve more people and if I'm going to involve more people, that means more costs, that means leveraging, that means hiring, that means having managers. And how do you actually get started? How do you actually go from just you, like poor me, to having 250,000 employees? How do you actually get from here to here? The, the way you do that is you start out small. You know, and, and again, this is, I know this is really uh, contradictory to hear, hear Robbie talking about small. But you want to start small when you take these bets because at the end of the day, people are what's going to make you successful. So you want to get another person right from the get-go. It doesn't even matter if you don't have a business idea yet. There's you and you want to get another person. Let's say this is your assistant and you pay him, let's say, $1,000 a month. Now, can you afford $1,000 a month on somebody? Let's say that they work five, five, six hours a day. Can you afford that $1,000 a month? If you can't, then there is a serious problem with the way that you're conducting yourself. You need to learn how to sell. You need to learn how to promote yourself. You need to give value. You need to be in a situation where you know that if somebody works for you and you pay him $1,000 a month or even, let's say, $250 a week, which is basically the same, but if we look at it on a weekly level, can you get that person who works for you for five hours a week, uh, a day, which means 25 hours a week, can you get that person who works for 25 hours a week to make you $250 to pay himself back to make sure that you covered the cost? Can you do that? Because if you can't, you're not pushing people, you're not really, you don't really have a goal, you don't really have a purpose. So again, this all comes from having that big, giant juicy purpose that has many many zeros this is how you start to actually think in the right levels that's how you actually get to a situation where you're moving in the right direction 
So this is part one of the series of videos, and I hope it helped you. I hope you learned a bit more about thinking big. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll see you in the next video.